Hello and welcome to week 11 in Social 109 Society and Technology. We are in chapter 10 and we're taking on a topic that actually we sort of breached a little bit in chapter 9 and that is artificial intelligence. <clears throat> I give you some content on that and we have a discussion, a quiz, and a rather involved assignment. And I'll explain that a little bit. So our discussion actually gives you a range of topics to discuss. This is a big one. Certainly right in the front of the news, right in the front of research. People are concerned, happy, looking forward to, thinks it's Armageddon, all kinds of points of view on, on this particular topic. So we're taking three areas of controversy, ethical challenges to artificial intelligence, and you can pick and choose whichever one you want to discuss. You want to discuss all three, post all over the place. I'm expecting a fairly rich discussion out of this. The first is looking at bias and fairness, representation, you know, in within AI. Transparency, understanding where the stuff is coming from, and accountability, how who is responsible for AI. And then of course privacy and surveillance, how much of our activity within the AI or, or within the world is being monitored and recorded somehow, and how does that breach our privacy? You have the ability, I have little descriptions in there, you have the ability to address any or all of those topics. They, they also intersect, that word will come up again later today. They intersect, these are involved with each other, they cross over. You know, so it certainly should entail a pretty rich discussion. And then have a quiz. It's five questions, multiple choice about AI, just the definition of AI and what it's all about. And then finally, we get to this assignment, the intersection between culture and AI, which really focuses on five areas. First, a general perception of how AI and culture intersect. We have a definition for AI and we have a definition for culture coming from this sociology class. How do those meet? How do they interact with each other? How might they affect each other? Those kinds of things. Then we look at that on a global scale where it's multiple different cultures and what's the intersection there then we look at a detail here. We're looking at arts and entertainment. As a musician, I know, as a performer, that AI is being used in ways to create music, to create vocals, to, to do chord progressions, to do these kinds of things. And you're like, well, who's the composer kind of thing? Is it advantageous? Yes. What about in the art world? I give you all kinds of examples of applications that are using AI, including, I mean, Photoshop itself is using AI in order to analyze backgrounds so you can actually take someone out of the picture now. You know, that solves all those problems with your pictures you have of your exes enjoying the beach or whatever. Look at solve that. But looking at arts and entertainment, and certainly AI was a huge part of the very recent agreement in uh, Hollywood between writers, actors, and uh, the, uh, the administration of, the, uh, of movies and television. Then we look at how AI can best represent cultural representation. This is a topic outside of AI. To what degree do we in, in include, are we inclusive to individuals who are different than ourselves? that are different from each other? How do we, all the different categories, you look at gender, sexuality, race, political perspective, religion, all of those things. So how, how does AI embrace all of that to become better? And then finally, opening the door up for some recommendations from you. What would you think AI would need to do in order to accomplish good things and not become how? from 2001 Space Odyssey. That's a movie to see. Um, 
I'm expecting, I'm not expecting pages and pages of this. I'm expecting a fairly comprehensive document from you on this one. This is a big topic. I think it deserves some good treatment. I'm expecting you to do some external research on each one of these topics. Might start on the web, but certainly looking at some research done uh, with any one of the agencies that are sort of monitoring this and doing research on AI, looking for resources from, this is pretty new, so when you're looking at research articles, you're gonna find some pretty current stuff. And just and make an effort to substantiate your thoughts as you're presenting, that your thoughts should be a combination of your own perspectives on these things informed by sources. So I'm expecting you to cite sources, I'm expecting you to have a references page at the end of the paper. It's, it's gonna probably be the major assignment, complexity-wise. It's not gonna carry any more weight, per se, but it's a major assignment in terms of how all the assignments have gone in this class. But I think it's useful for us to take time in this class on the, on the cusp of the introduction of AI into our everyday lives. And so we're taking on AI in this class now. Now, I do wanna give you a little bit of insight into the writing of this particular chapter. Now I spend a good deal of time doing background research to the best ability for this kind of level of class, do one chapter on one of these things and certainly there's a lot of me and my perspectives that end up in what will be the course book or your course notes. I want to tell you, however, that I didn't write the majority of this chapter. The majority of this chapter was actually written by ChatGPT. So, not only are you learning about AI, you're learning ChatGPT's knowledge about AI. I simply went to ChatGPT and I typed in provoking questions such as, what does the future of AI look like? Or what are controversial issues with AI? Why do people fear AI? And the I took the answers and compiled them into what you have as your chapter. So I hope you see a different voice. I did insert some you know, transitions and stuff like that and then the pictures and whatnot. But um, this is largely written by AI. So uh, for one thing, there's less spelling mistakes. So that's a plus but uh, certainly a different voice. Uh, this is AI speaking for itself in one iteration of that. So I hope that's a interesting component to your experience of this particular uh, chapter and this particular topic. So I'm very much looking forward to the content here. Uh, this is gonna be a uh, fun discussion on those uh, variety of ethical issues. Keep in mind we're we're gonna be scientists. We do express our emotional fears. We express our, our illogical perceptions and all that. But we also wanna be good scientists and readers to do the research and background as to um, the validity of these things and balance those expressions within these discussions. And certainly uh, the research that you're doing for the paper can also inform your uh, topics uh, in the discussion. So, hope you enjoy this chapter by AI and me. I, I edited it. And um, I look forward to the discussions and certainly look forward to these chapters. Next week, the week after this one, is Thanksgiving break. So, in fact, the due dates for all of this material are at the end of next week. I will be grading this as they come along, but... Well, let me, let me, the discussions and the quiz do by Sunday. The paper, you have some extra time to do that. You have one more week, the Thanksgiving week, to get that done. And so I'm giving you kind of two weeks for that paper. Take advantage of that time to do a really rich, deep dive into AI. I mean, certainly AI, as we've uh, seen all over, is going to impact many aspects of our lives. And I think it's a good idea for all of us to get our handle on what it is, what it can do, risks and benefits, 
because it's here. So with that, I will leave you to this week. Have a very good next week as well as we take a break for Thanksgiving. Hopefully it is a break. Time to rest, relax, be grateful, make up some work that's missing, maybe go sledding if it's... If it's just, I just jinxed it, didn't I? We're going to have snow. All right. So have a great week, and I look forward to these discussions. So take care.